You're watching Star Watch Media. I'm Callie Bundy, and we're here at the 20th anniversary of the Hamptons International Film Festival. How are you? Fine, how are you? Good, uh, my name is Callie with Star Watch Media. How do you do? I do very well. How are you doing, James? You do very well. <laughs> So how many years have you been coming to the Hamptons International Film Since Festival? Since its beginning, 20 years. Oh, all 20. Mm -hmm. Wow. And why do you think it's so important for festivals because like this? people who live here, it's a community of artists and painters and writers and actors and directors, screenwriters, uh, producers. And it's it, it, uh, God knows how many of these films began here on the beach when somebody said, what if we do this or that? Right. Right. So it's obviously very important to promote the independent cinema as well? Of course. Yeah. So we're here also, we're honoring the Variety's 10 most um, actors, act, excuse me, actors to watch list. Are there any names on there that pop out to you? Uh, mm, too many to even to mention. There are so many good young actors out there, really wonderful young actors. I haven't seen them all. Right. But... Uh, uh, any, anyone that you've seen, maybe not on that list, that comes to mind? No, because I said, people think that I'm very current. I'm not. Because I'm always spending my time looking at films that have been done by the people who are on my show. Right. The result is that I'm alone in my room with my computer and my DVD player, and I'm missing all of these people. So I'm the wrong person to right. ask. But obviously you, you've had some from, from your school, some big name ones, like Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper came right out of our school. I saw him last night with Bob De Niro and 10, 12 years ago when he was my student, when I was dean of that school, uh, he sat in that audience and asked Bob De Niro a question. Can you imagine then last night I sat there and I, I, I emailed him just before the picture began. I said, I'm here waiting for the picture to begin. Then I got an email when I, when I turned my phone back on afterward. It said, what did you think? What did you think? So we were emailing all night long. That's personal. That's very emotional and yeah. very... That must be so gratifying for you. Oh, of course. Of course. Yeah. And now, are you working on any new projects currently? Just, well, yes, of course. We just did Liam Neeson. He was just on the air. And we're doing our 250th episode, which is going to be extraordinary, in which Brad Bradley will be making an appearance. I can't say more than that. I actually just heard an interview with Liam Neeson the other day on ESPN Radio with Colin Cowherd. Yeah. Um, and I did not know that he used to be a boxer. Oh, yes. He was a fighter. That's where he got that nose. Do you think you could take him? Not in a million years. <laughs> Perfect. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.